to start up with the last matrix algorithm i will first introduce about a randomized algorithm so what is a randomized algorithm an algorithm that uses random number to decide what to do next anywhere in its logic is called randomized algorithm we will understand it with an example suppose we are given an array of size n and we are supposed to find whether the array consists duplicate element or not so what is a brute force approach it says that we will check for every each and every pair that whether they are same or not and if any pair matches then we will return true values which means that an array consists of duplicate element so what is the time complexity for a brute force approach at worst case it is o of n squared solution but rather than brute force approach if we go for a randomized approach which says that we will we will, will select two position randomly and check whether these two position whether the element at these two position matches or not and if they matches we will return true so by selecting the two position randomly we will somehow reduce the time complexity from o of n square to its uh, o of n square to a better st better stage and this is how randomized algorithm reduces time and space complexity another example is a simple example that algorithm that flip coin is also called a randomized algorithm so why randomized algorithm is necessary because it avoid worst case behavior there are many algorithm which is which give us a solution in a better time complexity where are there are many many algorithm which give solution in worst time complexity but randomized algorithm always guarantees to be in a average case behavior these algorithms are commonly used in a situation where no exact and fast algorithm is known suppose we are given a very large input very large huge huge input and we are supposed to we are supposed to we are supposed to we are supposed to uh, check for it uh, we are supposed to search in a huge input so we can't go for of n solution but we can select any of the positions randomly and check which reduces somehow time complexities so there are two types of randomized algorithm monte carlo algorithm and las vegas algorithm so as our topic is las vegas algorithm now we will understand deeply about las vegas algorithm so what is last vectors algorithm last vectors algorithm is a randomized algorithm that made probabilistic choices to help guide them more quickly to a correct solution last vectors does not gamble with the correctness of result it gambles only with the resources used for the computation we will understand this algorithm this is the definition of algorithm but we will understand more clearly about this algorithm further you can uh, a simple example is a randomized tweet sort algorithm. You know, what is the properties of last vectors algorithm? Last vectors algorithm always gives true answer. And if true answer doesn't exist, it also informs us about the failure, which is a which is not done in the Monte Carlo algorithm. The running time is random, so it is clear such because it is a randomized algorithm, or running time will be random. Running time variable whose expectation is bounded set by polynomial. As, so, uh, as we had described, uh, as we had, as, as I had told before, the example, which sort a randomized which sort algorithm is the example of last address algorithm. So, to understand this, we will first understand what is a which sort algorithm. It is a simple and efficient way of sorting. There are many sorting algorithms, but Quick sort is one of the best. It is also one of the best merge sort. A quick sort is also a best and efficient way of sorting. And what is the 
what is uh, it, what is its algorithm in the bit set algorithm we we are we will select a pivot element and we are supposed to set all the smaller elements on the left side of the pivot element and over the greater element than the pivot element on the right side of the pivot element in, in short we are placing the pivot element at its perfect place in a sorted array in a final sorted array and and the array is divided into two sub arrays one of one on the left side of the uh, left side of the pivot element and one, another sub array on the right side of the pivot element and these two sub arrays are recursively sorted recursively followed the same procedure as we had as we had followed the procedure in the one one array and those will be sorted and combined to form a sorted array so which is the fit sort algorithm so we will again have a quick recap of the fit sort algorithm if, if the c is our array and if c consists of a single element we will directly return the array and if not then we will put a pivot element in m and all the smaller element n m will be on the left side and all the larger element then m will be on the right side and and so has become two sub array which c small which is on the left side and c large which is on the right side of the pivot element and we will recursively solve c small and c large and then combine and we will get a single sorted array now we will analyze the optimistic outlook of the fit sort and if we split the array c evenly then element on the left side number of element on the left side and number of element on the right side will be equal and the running time will be n log n which is a best case and the recurrence relation for this will be p of n equal to 2 p n by 2 plus constant into n which is described as p of n is the first uh, base case um, base case no, it's not base case it's the full array and we are recurred we are sorry the two sub array of size of length n by 2 n by 2 and plus constant constant into n we will now analyze the pessimistic outlook if we split the array c unevenly then we will end up with an first stress solution which is O of n stress solution and the recurrence relation for this will be p of n equal to p of n minus 1 plus constant into n mm. this is a this, this stress occurs when the array is in descending order now we will conclude the quick sort algorithm quick sort algorithm seems like an inefficient merge sort and to improve quick sort algorithm we need to choose m to be a good splitter if we split the if if we split the array in evenly with a uh, with us with a uh, appropriate smartness then we will only end up with an n log n algorithm n log n and complexity otherwise else we will end up with an of n stress solution it can be proven that to achieve n log n time time we don't need a perfect split just reasonable to do one in fact if both sub errors are at least of size n by 4 the running time will be n log n so it is clear by a sentence this implies that half of the choices of m made good splitters now we will solve the quick sort with a randomized approach so to improve the randomness of quick sort we will select the pivot element randomly uh, and there are total n n element and we are selecting one as a pivot element so there are n ways to select a pivot element but if we select uh, there are 50 percent goods there are good uh, 50 percent element which will it will be at as a good splitter and 50 percent element which will act as a bad splitter so by selecting randomly we will have a probability of 0 0.5 which will improve our time complexity 
This approach will make sure that no matter what input is received, received the expected running time is small. The randomized speed sort algorithm. So here, if C transist one element, C is our array, and C transist of one element, then it will directly return C. And C, uh, rather than the tweet sort algorithm, in randomized tweet sort algorithm, we will select our element randomly. Then set then as in the tweet sort, we will set the all the smaller element in array which are smaller than M on the left side and other on the right side and rand and so recursively both have thought those two sub array and the function here is randomized split sort so randomized three bodies usual rules and then we will combine to form a single sorted array so split sort analysis randomized split sort analysis the worst case will be same as of M split and the expected running time will be M log n. Expected running time is good measure of the performance of randomized algorithm. Often more informative than the worst trace time. The best, the what is good about randomized split sort algorithm that there is more chance. There is there is more chance that we will have a time complexity of M log M log n M. So it's uh, it's n log n. Mm, but there is less less probability that we will end up with a first time complexity which is based about randomized tweet sort pros making a random choice is fast and adversary is powerless randomized algorithm have no stress inputs randomized algorithms are often simpler and faster than deterministic counterparts cons in the worst case, randomized algorithms may be very slow. There is a finite probability of getting incorrect answer. However, the probability of getting a wrong answer can be made arbitrarily small by repeated employment of randomness between two random number is almost impossible. As we all have points we have discussed before. So this is all about random last vectors algorithm. Thank you very much.